I'm going to uh, do a video now on painting a shell using liquid mask and uh, airbrushing uh, paints but the technique that I'm going to use you could effectively use uh, rattle cam paints as well if you want to because there's going to be no shading involved uh, but I had a few people start asking me some questions and stuff that I just thought was obvious and uh, just made sense didn't or people had questions about it so I'm going to uh, cover them now so this is we're going to go from start to finish with this body shell and this shell all I've done so far that I that you've not seen is I've mounted it to the car and all, I always do this I just get the the, the mounting holes for for the uh, body towers just fitted and that, that's the only bit that I'll do like all the wheels haven't been cut out this is a gas car like you've cut out the engine and the fuel tank I won't do any of that either just the just the points for the for the body mounting um, and then the only other thing that I've done is I've just washed the inside with uh, soap and water so now I've done that uh, the next thing that I just need to do is I just need to put some little bits of tape over these holes here just to stop the liquid mass from running through just because well, it just looks a bit messy and just a bit of a pain to clean off because sometimes you can just get some residue left on the body shell and this just helps to make it possible. Oh the other thing that I meant to say as well is this is only possible to use do this method if you get a body shell that's like this. This sticker here denotes that it's got uh, like a film on the outside so if I, if I picked away at it there's a little film all over the outside we need that because I'm going to draw all over the body shell so if you didn't have that plastic film yeah you could do it still and you'd have to remove it with white spirit but I wouldn't recommend it you just want a body shell that comes with like a plastic outer layer it's better because you get a better finish now uh, this is the liquid ma uh, mass that I'm using today but to be honest I've used the more I've used this, Fitty Design, and, and another one, I can't remember the name of it, it might have been um, like from Fast Color or something like that. Um, and to be honest, they, they all feel exactly the same. Um, I, and sometimes I just dispense this into a, a cup like this. If I'm doing like a bigger shell, like an eight, I'll put it in there. And then this is just like a, just an ordinary brush, nothing, nothing special about it, just, just a brush. A lot of people that are like pros will um, literally paint this stuff onto the shell and that's very good because like you just get like a, an even layer all over the shell but literally all I'm going to do is just pour a little bit in here I'm quite sloppy these days I suppose because I've just done so many so just get a bit in there and then just literally just start wiping it all over the shell I'm not taking a great deal of care, I'm just trying to make sure that the whole shell is covered. So I'll just do that. And that's it. That's layer one done. No. Easiest layer to do out of all of them, that is. So, what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to go put this in my airing cupboard because it's just a really dry place. And that will probably, in an hour, be pretty much dry. And then I can put another layer So, um, so 
I'm just about to put the final coat of uh, liquid mask on this body shell. Uh, since the last video, I did two more coats. And to be honest, I don't, I don't know if you can see, but for me, just from the look and the feel of it, it's hard to explain, but I wouldn't bother putting any more coats on this, but just because of the video, I'm going to do one more coat. So that would be four coats, but I, I, it's had like three generous coats on there. To me, that feels like it would have been enough for this show. <coughs> the other thing I forgot to mention as well <coughs> is that um, I washed this brush after, I, after I've used this in um, just like soapy washing up liquid and it cleans it up fine. This is still a bit wet here now because I just took it out from like my drainage board over there. But if you used it and it, you forgot to wash it or it got a bit stuck and you were struggling to get off, white spirit normally thins this stuff down quite well and you get it off quite quick. Quite quick. So I'm just going to pop this last coat on. Just exactly the same as what I did before. Same method. <coughs> I don't know why that after you've done the first coat that the next coat just don't seem to go on quite as easy as that. That's it. All done. No. So that's the last coat that I'm going to put on for the liquid mask. I'm going to pop it back in my air and cupboard for it to dry whilst I'm away at work. And uh, I'll either start to mark the design up later today or tomorrow. Uh, but we'll sure film me when I do that as well. Cheers.